From the oldest park in baseball, MLB The Show comes your way from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, it's Diamond Dynasty Baseball between Abu Dhabi and Hong Kong. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head to head next. Here's Mookie Betts, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Leading off for Abu Dhabi. The second baseman, Mookie. Bet. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Around first, digging for two, and that'll manage to hop over the wall. He'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. Brian Reynolds is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brock waits on it. And that's the first out of the inning. So now here is Kyle Tucker looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And rarely do you see a player of this caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away that now. The short side. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Wagner. Hannes Wagner is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he's. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Now to the plate, here is Lou Brock. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half of the first. Here's the, the left fielder, Lou Brock. Oh, one, here's the pitch. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting second. Stepping in now, baseman. Hannes Wagner. Wagner. He's running. Wagner. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Batting third. The right field. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero. A pitch out. Guerrero. The throw. Well, he thought about going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. The 1 0. Now the runner's on his way home. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Now to the plate, Louis time. Aparicio Louis. looking to get on base and keep this first go. inning alive. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. Two out, nobody on. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. And he's bunting here with two strikes and two out, and he misses and likely will get an. Second inning set to go, and digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. The left fielder, Juan Soto. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One-zero pitch is a circle change swung on and missed one and one. 
Sale gets the sign. Here's the delivery. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. That is One it. away. The first base Next to five. dig in, Albert, Albert. Pujols. Pujols. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Hot shot on the ground is short. Aparicio has it. Throw gets him. Two down. So two out, nobody on. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seeger. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the run is Brock. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. And now, Mickey Mantle. He's set to lead off the whole half of the second. The center fielder, Mickey. Had him reach in that time at strike one. Mantle is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Mickey Mantle sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Junior. Fernando Tatis Jr. is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Swung on and missed. One and two now. You know, it's funny right there. You look at that pitch, and it's almost a hybrid in between a big-time old-school curveball and a nasty slider that goes off the fastball. That's kind of right in the middle right there, kind of working that off the seven. clock, that 3-8, to eight, baseman, if you can picture that in your head. Tough pitch to lay off of. And he's squaring around here, but he can't connect one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on 0-2. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strike. Leading off the inning, it'll be Craig Vigio as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Craig. Swing and a liner. Brock is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So here now is the that pitcher, enough. Kerry Wood. The pitcher, Kerry. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Late that time for a strike. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 0-2 oh, pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command one and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a now pretty back. good chance you'll get him to roll base. over something. Got him swinging on the fastball yeah. there. Kerry Wood goes down for out number two in the top half. Mookie Betts stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. In the air out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. So now it's Brian Reynolds, and this one's in the dirt, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Ready with the one, two. Grounded slowly to the left side. He's got a hurry. And a close play at first, but he's called out of the side is retired. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the speedy catcher, Buds Rodriguez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. So bases are empty with one out now. That means the pitcher hits next. Enter Sale. Chris Sale. First pitch on its way. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious, two away. Brock. Lou Brock is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Curveball down and in, misses ball two. Two out, nobody on. Barehanded at his knees. Hats off to that one. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, Kyle. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0 and 1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Into the box, Hannes Wagner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One ball, no strikes to count. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 and 0. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. In the dirt, it's 3 and 0 now. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 3 2 pitch freezes him, a strikeout looking. One out, runner at first, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. Kike Hernandez please. will be summoned off now the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. From the stretch. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Runners on first with one down. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. In the dirt but swung on and missed. 
stepping in. Albert Pujol grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Tucker is off a of first with two away. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Hannes Wagner. The third baseman, Hannes Wagner. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. Now back, the right fielder, Vladimir. At the plate, no, Vladimir no, no, Guerrero. No, no. A pitch out. The throw. And that'll be in plenty of time and a perfect call on the pitch out there. One out, nobody on. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. The batter number 11. Louis. Throw over to the bag. Up oh, on. and it throws him, and they got him. Into the box now, Louis Aparicio. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. That brings up Mickey Mantle. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. It looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. So two on with two away. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Big lead off the second. Now the pitch. A pitch out. The throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. And now the runner breaks for the plate. Oh, and he's not squaring as the pitch is a ball. And he scores on a daring steal of home. And no throw, in fact. Because he'll just hang on to it. Well, obviously not biting on the first two, so it looks as though they'll just go ahead and wave him down to first base for free here. Number so the next to bat will be Willie Mays. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pitches a ball. Thought better of it, but now he's tagged out trying to get back to third. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Next to hit is Budge Rodriguez. First dad bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Strike one to start the at bat. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything. But that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two from Sale. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Kerry Wood. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Trey Turner who will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. He swings here and sends a chopper to the left side. Going to be a tough play. Throw the first with time to spare and the side is retired. Zach Britton, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Stepping in once again is Willie Mays. Here's the first pitch. Number 20. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Three and two now. Full count. Here it comes. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now the so pitch. stepping in is Fudge Rodriguez. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Britain has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boyd, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing he's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Another full count pitch home. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Full count still. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The next 3-2. Wagner into shallow left. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now in the box, Chris Sale. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sale! Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Mookie Betts. The second baseman. And now the first pitch. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Now a circle change, but he takes it low, ball two. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Swinging away, and now the count will be three and one. Sale gets the sign. Here it comes. A swing and a ground ball to third. 
throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So next to hit is Brian Reynolds. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. On the ground to the left side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Into the box, Kyle Tucker. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. It was a walk in his last trip. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Reynolds leads off first with one away. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And it's full now, three and two. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Once again, a 3-2. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. So a runner at second. Two down now. And here's a man whose baseball card goes for more than a million bucks. Hannes Wagner. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Lou Brock, he bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. At the plate now is Hannes Wagner. Two base hits, the both singles baseman. to this point. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Now batting. Right Digging field. in next, Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero. One for two in the ball game thus far. Devin Your Williams, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take Devin. over on the mound. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Yep, one and one. Reynolds is on the move for it at the track, the wall, and it's gone into the monster seats. In now, Louis Aparicio. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Louis Aparicio. Throw to first in time, and you got to question that decision as the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that means the plug and play utility oh, man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back showing some resiliency and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead locking down that W right fielder is on the run he gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning here's Albert now ready to deal here comes the first pitch uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. 
Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Hit to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Corey Seeger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Pulled toward right center field. And Mantle makes the catch. The inning Great is job. over. Digging in, the switch hitter, Mickey Mantle. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. Now the first pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. And they'll have to kind of come after him this time. No good reason for walking him right here. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Now batter, number 24. So now to the plate, Willie Mays. Pitches high, the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The 1 0. Strike taken, the throw. Is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. in there for strike number two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Now the runner breaks for the plate and he fouls this one off. Tatis takes his lead at third with one away. Runners breaking for home, and they pitch out. And he will make it back into third as he was able to put the brakes on in time. Boy, very fortunate there. Throw over to third. And not in time as the run scores. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Here now the 2-2. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. Rodriguez is after it. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Next it'll be Pudge Rodriguez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. Not even close with the 1-0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Oh, that ball comes in and gets him. Next up, Chris Sale. 0 oh for 2 from him the so pitcher, far in this one. 21. Now here's the first offering. And there he goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Runner 
Rivers on his way to third. And now they've got him in a rundown, but he'll be in there easily. One and no pitch on the way. Oh, and the bunt attempt is missed here. And they will put the tag on him following the pitch out. And I don't even know where to begin and like. Ready to begin the eighth. And now. Catcher, Buds Rodriguez. The catcher. First pitch on the way. Rodriguez. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Swing and a ground ball for Aparicio. It's short. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Trevor Hoffman please. steps into the on-deck circle in now, in looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. First pitch on its way. One out, nobody on. On a grade school swing there, it's one and one. That's been a great pitch for him all night, able to push him, pull the throttle a little bit, throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. A little too tall that time, three and one now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss here, and that's about what you'd expect from a pitcher, I suppose. There are two away. Yeah, so the lineup is. flips over and Mookie. digging in, Mookie Betts. Yes. Only four outs remaining Ladies for the Rysel Iglesias. Gets the call as a pinch, pinch hitter, hitter, and he'll get a chance Rysel. with two out and the bases Rysel. empty. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that. Rysel Iglesias will remain now in the game at second, second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half Rysel. inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and next will be the pitcher, Chris Sale. Leading off for the bench warmer, the pitcher. Starling Marte is going to grab a Damn. bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom now, of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Edwin Diaz Edwin. is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Please. Aaron Luke is Mark. into the ball game now as he assumes now duties in center, center field. Number 32. Aaron Luke. Tyler Matzik is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in right. First pitch on its way as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. 